What is up guys, Bolognese here with another replay review. Uh, this time I'm in the newly released M4190 Grand Final Edition of the, uh, it's the tier 8 version of the M41 Walker Bulldog at tier 7. Uh, and it's a pretty nice tank. Uh, basically it's an M41 with a, a bit more hit points. Um, and it gets a 90mm gun, very similar to the 90mm uh, that's on the RU251. And also it gets the extremely good uh, HE rounds with uh, 100 plus mils of penetration. So here we are on Pilsen, um, and it's a typical um, tier 8 scout matchup where uh, you're the bottom tier. Uh, so just going to push up to the 9 line, try and get spots, uh, and see what's pushing up here. So shot into the Lorraine, 40 ton, and now backing off because uh, there's not much support. We do have an E100 pushing up with us, but uh, I'm not going to rely on him to support me. I do have a, quite a few tanks along this line, so now I'm just going to push back and try and put some shots into the tanks uh, as they try and potentially push up down that 0 slash 9 line. My thinking in here is I see that the 58 Mutts, the 183 and that are up against the wall uh, and are protecting cap. Uh, it looks like basically no tanks are on the 1-2 line, so I'm going to try and hang around the middle of the map and support uh, the E100 slash any tanks that are stuck in the middle, uh, trying to shoot them. So the uh, IS-3 is spotted and the Lorraine 40 ton. Unfortunately, I don't get a penetration on the Lorraine, however, I do put a, a tracking shot into him. He quickly repairs it and gets away, however. The IS-3 is uh, now facing away from me and is focusing his attention on the 110 and 5100 that has pushed up uh, to their cap. Uh, so right now I'm just trying to look for an opening and try not to get shot from the tanks on the 9 line. Lorraine 40 ton is behind this little building thingy here. Uh, so I don't... Don't really have a good shot on him, so I'm just going to put a shot into the T28. I take away the Lorraine 40 tons cover, uh, however, he does pull back and is protected. Another shot into the T28, uh, and he's tracked. So the next shot here, I uh, decide I'm going to try and retrack him, however, it uh, goes slightly off target and bounces off his upper front plate. So I'm just going to put another damaging shot into him, and he is killed by artillery. Across the open here now, uh, a little bit dangerous. Take a quick snapshot of the STA-1, uh, and continue moving to the arse of this IS-3. Take a quick snapshot into the back of him, and then try and get the angle on him. So pick up the, uh, almost pick up the kill on the IS-3, uh, however someone finishes all, him off before me. There's a T-54 back at base, he puts a good shot into me uh, and he wrecks my turret. So I just quickly put that back in because uh, the turret's very important on this tank to be able to flank and move around tanks. So there's not many tanks here, the T-54 is still being uh, very careful and cautious. Uh, and so I'm going to try and put a shot into him, but however, snapshot it, does not connect. T-54 isn't focusing me, so put a tracking shot into him. And he is ammo racked, and goodbye T-54. So now I'm going to push up and be aggressive. I see that I have the back of a Lorraine 40 ton and a T-10. Uh, and you're going to see me switch to the... Uh, HE rounds here that have 100 plus millimeters of penetration and get very high roll. So 337 roll there. Uh, and I'm going to keep them loaded because I know there's soft tanks around here. Uh, 299 roll there. Pick up the kill on the bat chat artillery. The FV305 is spotted, so put a quick hit into him. However, it fails to penetrate. I decide not to focus him because he's going to die very quickly and decide to shoot the back of the SU-12254. And 
and here and here is the post game stats obviously it was an ace tanker uh, with a confederate it was 3,126 damage, um, 1,232 base XP, and I did uh, 2k tracking slash spotting assistance on Pilsen, which is pretty impressive, especially for that map, uh, and I made 98,000 credits. The tank overall is, um, it's okay, it's probably not the... For a very first tier 8 light tank that premium that you can buy, it's probably not the greatest tank that you could purchase if you don't have one, or if you don't have another tier 8 premium rather. Um, definitely I would not recommend this tank. It has a very high skill ceiling. Um, however, a good thing about it uh, is that you do get the mission that is on until the 2nd of May, which is only a few days left to do it, is uh, you do get a free BIA crew with it if you earn 150,000 XP in it. Uh, which is very nice to have. Uh, and overall, it's it's an okay tank. The gun's pretty nice. It's the RU251 gun, so it's it's pretty accurate and it gets a pretty good heat round and a very excellent HE round, as you saw there. Capable of do, dealing uh, or really increasing that uh, your damage per minute when you choose to shoot at the rear of tanks. However, again, it is a light tank. Uh, in the current meta of the game, it's very, very hard to play it well. Uh, and it's very easy to die very quickly, especially only with 1,100 hit points. And when you get matched as a tier 9 med, which is what tier 8 light tanks get matched as in the matchmaker currently, uh, you do see a lot of tier 9 and tier 10 games quite regularly. And a lot of tanks can one-shot you and or even two-shot you. And uh, in most Russian meds at tier 9 and tier 10 uh, can very easily clean you up so it's very hard to play as i said uh but it is a good tank it is fun and the crew and the the uh, credit making bonuses that come with the tank are very nice indeed anyway thanks for watching my replay and i will catch you on the next one